I learned photography in wartime. I knew that there were bounds that I couldn't cross. I understood that the camera might be in my hand, but I didn't have the power. You know, I was incarcerated at the age of 17. A sense of life without parole. You know, inside the prison, I was a uh, photographer. My name is Larry Cook, um, lead artist on this project, Wherever There Is Light. I came to this project, I guess it started really with conversations with my uncles, sorting through their extensive archive of images and kind of appropriating those images to speak towards themes of you know, familyhood, fatherhood, and how important those relationships are in, in prison. One of the things that Larry was showing us about his work is like the art of like absence, of like what happens in these, and I was thinking about what happens in these spaces of absence. And I think like, it's, it's interesting, especially like when you're thinking about like carceral spaces, the, the idea of ghosting and or those like those ephemeral feelings or sensations or eeriness is there. So with like the project I'm thinking about is like how to kind of convey to the person through like uh, or just a portrait, uh, a portrait and then just their life, how, what, what is significant with that person? You know, we, we could wear t-shirts, we could wear certain things that signify certain things to the world, but I'm looking for like something that signifies an emotion, um, not, a, not a statement. I've been really interested in how these photographers see the world differently, or in some cases similarly, right? After the experience of incarceration. And again, really validating the kind of aesthetic acumen that they've developed in their time back with us. And so knowing that these artists are emerging to be some of the top photographers of our time, um, we're seeing them at, at a developmental stage. I have been doing a lot of thinking around my own vulnerability because of parole. And in Pennsylvania, parole is not something that is usually you can get out of early. You can't usually get out of parole early. And the punishments for the equivalent of minor infraction can be years of incarceration. And at times I can't apologize because I'm afraid if I get too soft and kind, I won't be able to survive when I get back. And so I hold on to an edge and thinking is not always who I want to be what I like to be, but what I need to be, given the circumstance. My concept is around delving into that hypervisibility through portraits, which explain and reveal my vulnerability and susceptibility to going back to, to prison. And through that work, I will have a conversation about my own fears and subsequent guilt and shame of leaving people behind. A couple guys that did their wedding photos as she came home with life sentences. You know, I was thinking in my mind like, wow, I took your wedding pictures. You know, I remember your wife had a beautiful dress on, you had on browns. So it'd be beautiful to recreate that on the outside, except this time you got your, you got your suit on. You know, so my project is based around recreating that. You know, but also taking some photos of guys with their kids. I got pictures of guys when they had their kids was maybe three, four years old. And the kids are in their 30s now. So we're gonna recreate those photos also. Just to show, you know, the black family. You know, that even through incarceration, through the hardship, how we maintain. When I think about photography, I think about it as like a helping hand. It has been this thing that, that that made that gave me a reason to live, a reason to push forward. It has been this thing that was able to push me when I felt like all the weight was pushing against me. It has been this thing that was 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 just this this lifeline that was able to take me to the shores of safety, man. After being casted out to sea and forgotten about, man. 
There's a philosopher named Antonio Gramsci who put forth this idea of the organic intellectual, that anyone can be an intellectual, even, you know, someone that doesn't have that traditional education. And so in this exhibition, I'm hoping that we see the organic artist, right, that has developed as a result of one's experiences and the community and space they live in, right, and validate their observations just as we would validate Warhol or Kehinde Wiley, because really they are the future in terms of shaping the world the way we want to see it in a more just, equitable fashion.